Hello and welcome to this act of worship for the Rosendale Methodist Circuit for Sunday May the 2nd. It's good to be with you again and this morning's worship we're beginning with some words from Psalm 22. Now as I'm sure you're aware Psalm 22 is the psalm that Jesus quoted from the cross when he cried out my God my God why have you forsaken me and that's the beginning of this psalm verse 1 in verse uh, in sorry in Psalm 22. Now as you move through the psalm we almost experience with the writer the terrible suffering which was the suffering of Jesus on the cross as we read the Psalms as we read the Old Testament we read through the lens if you like of, of Jesus seeing Jesus revealed to us in the Old Testament and this description of this suffering in Psalm 22 is so close to what it's like to die on a cross but the psalmist then changes the tone of the psalm and in verse 25 we read these words from you comes my praise in the great congregation my vows I will pay before those who fear him the poor shall eat and be satisfied those who seek him shall praise the Lord may your hearts live forever all the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord and all the families of the nations shall worship before him for dominion belongs to the Lord and he rules over the nations to him indeed shall all who sleep in the earth bow down before him shall bow all who go down to the dust and I I shall live for him posterity will serve him future generations will be told about your Lord and proclaim his deliverance to a people yet unborn saying that he has done it and how that echoes those last words of Jesus when Jesus says it is finished he has done it it is achieved victories victory over the powers of sin and death wonderful what wonderful news so in the light of that praise in the aftermath of great suffering let us pray in the beginning God made everything and saw that it was good God of all we come before you today just as we are. We lift to you the joy of being alive. We praise you that we are part of your amazing creation. Plant in us an ever-growing love for you. And let, let worship and praise burst from our hearts. Let the fruitfulness of our lives bring glory to you. Forgive us when we sow and plant seeds of gossip, hatred and pain. Thank you that you do not leave us to moulder in our sin. But through the death of your only Son, Jesus Christ, you offer to us the free gift of forgiveness. Fill us, we pray, with your Holy Spirit. Prune us, cleanse us, and open our lives to receive your love. For we ask it in the name of our risen Lord and our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The theme for today is God is love. And so two wonderful hymns, two old, oldies but golders if you like, to quote uh, a friend and colleague of mine. Uh, they come both from Mission Praise. First one is Come, Let Us Sing of a Wonderful Love. And the second one is Great is Thy Faithfulness. So I'm sure you'll enjoy singing along to those and I'll see you on the other side to think about God is love. 